Good morning, everybody. We are heading to do something so freaking cool. Like, there's this company in Toronto that essentially can make mini versions of you, like, like action figures almost like. So today, I'm on my way to make a custom action figure. I was gonna say seven-year-old Dan would be so hyped right now, but like, current Dan is so hyped right now. Make some action figures, baby. I guess we're breaking the, the rules of me holding my mic back, eh? <laughs> So really, the only signage they have is this big white sign that says self traits with an arrow. It's tucked away in this little like industrial residential part of Toronto. It's a company called Objects Unlimited. They also offer self traits. You're, you're gonna see everything that happens inside. This is where I'm gonna make my own action figure and I'm so excited to see how it works. Maybe we should do like a cheesy kid intro. Let's go inside. Self-traits. You can literally do anything you want. Obviously, there's a lot of group poses. You got dogs, you got a dude playing the guitar, you have a guy's head, and you have that guy holding his head. Like landscape stuff, water slides. Look, I see a lot of girls on Twitter saying that they get asked for foot pics. Like they can even help you. You can send like literally a giant ass foot pic, make a ton of cash, big ass nut and bolt. This is 3D printed, they made this here. Basically what I'm told is anything you wanna do, anything you want done if you're an artist, anything, they could do it. You're gonna have a wedding, instead of using these two traditional people, just use yourself. Just probably put this back. I feel like I really made myself at home here. <laughs> Joe, Dan, how's it going? Good. Thanks Welcome so to the much studio. For me. This is awesome. This is where the magic happens. It's like a spaceship. Can I go inside? Yeah, go for it. How many cameras are in here? So we're shooting 128 in the system. But we're shooting all cannons. How much would this booth cost? It's around 200k. The way it works is we're gonna take 120 shots of you instantaneously. We're th then gonna stitch those photos together, pixel by pixel. So these have to fire the exact same time. You got it. Okay, so like, what, what kind of poses do people do in here? I mean, there's the classic hands in the pockets, there's the jumping, kind of the karate chop, karate kick. We do a lot of sitting poses sometimes, so, so people can then put the, the model on their shelves there. It seems like anything's possible. That's gonna be the hardest part about today, is like looking at all these poses and hearing you say like, I can do anything. Sweet. All right, let's get, yeah, let's we'll get, get to you it. With. So what we'll do is we'll get you to look this direction here and we'll count you down three, two, one and we'll take a number of different shots. Ready, three, two, one. It's like a big flash. Oh, look at this. This is the one I just did. So we're essentially capturing every single angle. So they, they're not necessarily all wide angles. Beautiful shot of my side calf right here. This literally feels like I'm going into Star Trek. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Dude, I think we got it first shot. Really? <laughs> first shot, eh? There is 128 DSLR cameras that are all focused to this one central area here, and they're all firing off at the same time. And so when you're in the booth, you have to look at this sticker right here, and they're all gonna fire off. Take me to your leader. So if you, if you have a seat on there and have your legs kind of hanging off, pretty much remove the plinth, and then from there you'll be sitting, sitting on, on whatever shelf. you're sitting. I'll be waving to myself, let's do that. Ready, three, two, one, one. Do one more here, ready, three, two, one. That's gonna go right on my shelf, just staring at me at my desk. So you're all set, we'll take a look at the models, uh, the shots here if you wanna see some of them. Yeah, pretty much every detail that's captured, we tried to uh, replicate in 3Ds. Even this little bulge you might, uh, you might see for, for your phone as well. Yeah, big bulge. <laughs> How'd you guys come up with the name Self Traits? It's a portrait and a sculpture all combined into kind of a self trait. Okay. We merged the two names together. Ah, I like it. Next step is we would take this to a digital format. We would run it through our software to create kind of the 3D uh, models. And then we would send that over to our digital sculptors. They would then clean up the model for any imperfections and then send to our 3D print team. It's all done in house here in Toronto. Wow. Can we check out the printers? You got it. Uh, let's take a look. Well, I guess I'll, I'll let you lead. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> well, this is you guys. Yeah, this is our team setups. How'd you get fired? You're like, oh, damn it. <laughs> 
All right, so this is kind of our uh, production facility. This is Kate. She's our uh, production lead, and uh, she'll kind of walk you through the process and the next steps of uh, how the models are printed. So this is the production facility. This is nice. where the, uh, the magic happens, or this is where all the physical printing goes on. This is where it goes from an image on a computer to a tangible thing that you can hold and handle and, you know, put on yourself. So this is the uh, Z okay. Printer 650, which is an early version of the 3DS okay. 660. It's the same machine. Really, the only thing that they changed was the shrouding. Okay when 3DS took over for, for okay. Z-Corp. Somewhere underneath here, yeah. there's like a bunch of people. Yeah. I know that you are here, here, and here. My gosh, okay, yeah. let's do it. It'll be great. All of the powder that doesn't get used for the build gets vacuumed back in, back into the reservoir, used for the next job. Is this fun? Like, is it satisfying to do that? I love it. I've been doing this job for six and a half years, and I'm still excited to come in every day. Yeah, I can see this in the satisfying category of like YouTube. Have just a little tug. There we go. Oh, my jumping one. That's your jumping one. And sitting. Oh, there's sitting Give down. A little shake. Our last one. Got a compressor and an air gun going in here. Yeah. I'm gonna blow off all that excess powder. All of it. These are really nice, clean prints. Say hi. <laughs> and last one. Yeah. Wow, okay. There's mini me right there. There's mini you. So what happens now? At this stage, we're gonna give them a little bit of a sand. The yeah. detail is unreal. Like, Do I don't know, remember we were talking about the wrinkles in my shirt. You can actually see. Yeah, you can see like where it's pulled up. Yeah, all like, of like. Wrinkles. Babies, they're done. Just sanded them, you got them all cleaned up. What yeah. happens now? Now we do the infiltration. So the infiltration Ooh. is yeah. a really big word that means we're gonna dunk them in super glue. So this is just to encase it to make it stronger, right? It actually absorbs in. It doesn't sit on the surface. Oh, it doesn't sit on the surface? No, so it's gonna absorb fully into the part. You'll see when we do the first one just how much of a difference it makes in the color. All right, awesome. let's, let's do some dunking. Let's do this. And that's really what brings them to life. Wow. It's so much more colorful. So much more colorful. So much more lively. What if you were to use water in this process? It would completely disintegrate them. Gypsum is really, really susceptible to water damage. Drywall does not survive moisture. So they sit here, they off gas, they, yep. they absorb the glue. Yep. And then uh, what happens once these guys are dry? So after this stage, we actually, we warm them up in an oven. So mm -hmm. we put them in an oven for another five to 10 minutes to heat up. Yep. And then they get dunked in that paraffin wax that I mentioned. And that helps to protect them from moisture. It gives mm -hmm. them a nice surface coat. It, it's just sort of an extra layer of protection. You get a nice, good grip. Here we go. Little dunk. That's fully, fully, fully <coughs> coated. There we go, it was a super waxy, thick coat on there. And then in here, where all the excess is gonna melt off, so any extra drips, chunks of wax are gonna drip off into our catch bucket. I love that pose. See all the wax settling on the surface. So this is the last step then? This it comes the out of here step. and then it goes into a box? Into a box and then off to the customer. Thanks so much for showing us that. Yeah, that no problem. Cool I love process. showing people around. Okay, so I got myself traits, mini action figures. Thanks so much, Joe, for no today. Problem. That was it. awesome. Uh, how can people find you or book a session with self traits? For sure. So the best bet is going on our website, selftraits.com, mm -hmm. where you can check us out on social uh, at self traits. I'm going to go put these on my shelf and uh, show Charlie them. Hopefully, he doesn't chew them up. Sweet. Okay. We got my mini action figures, self traits done here at Objects Unlimited 3D Printing Studio. Literally, if you guys want anything done, whether it's yourself, your dog, 
wedding toppers, your shoe, a sign, these guys can do it. I can make anything, man. I love doing this stuff. So huge shout out to Self Trades and Objects Unlimited for, for taking us through that experience today. If you guys wanna do this, this is totally open to the public. I don't want this video to seem like you gotta be an influencer or something. Literally anybody can come here, book a session, and get it all done. I'm gonna go show Charlie now. He's gonna love it. I gotta get one of him done too.